Yeah. And he's able to stick it right to the jab, even if it doesn't land with power. It's a four in this heavyweight battle between Verdum and Volkov. Number See, even when Verdum like looks to step in and try and come over the top with the rock. Ram of Alexander Volkov <laughs> for a couple of morning raids. Looks to roll and is that kissing the dragon, Dan? Is that, a t is that no? I'm not sure, John. Okay, he takes the back. Nice, Verdun back vertical. I think Verdun extends his win streak to six. Fight by Alexander Volkov. It was almost like Vadoom was able to sting him with some clean shots and send Vadoom the f them. But a changing of the guard has happened tonight. Let's take a look at this. Which Volkov clearly came off the better, landed a nice uppercut, dropped him to the f performance. Ladies and gentlemen, the, the heavyweight division is on notice. The first punch on the way down got those credits rolling. I'm the rankings ladder from where he currently sits he becomes a true contender for the world heavyweight side to Bruce Buffer and make this all official ladies and gentlemen referee number four declaring the winner by knockout oh. and that was ladies and gentlemen Alexander Volkov over a champion like Vadum uh, Hello, London. Thank you for your surprise here. I'm a legend of our sport. But I'm coming right now. I will wait for, for this. And I'm here for this. So, talk me through your approach. Fabricio, and when you came to this fight, you knew some things when we trained together. It helped you. But for sure, I know that uh, his jiu-jitsu is very good. And I work a lot about defend, 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 defend. And then attack. It's work. Now, obviously, you... Is there anybody in the heavyweight division that you would like to see across the octagon next time? Uh, I won that it will be a title shot. Maybe it's Carmier, maybe... Congratulations, ladies and gentlemen, make some noise for your main event winner, Alexander... ...game ever made. EA Sports UFC 3 on sale now for a limited time. Performance, it was by Volkov. He is here for the title. Let's have a look at the tail of the tape then. So our headliners are 11 years apart. The we hand it over to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, the evening. Our three judges scoring this contest at Octagon Side R. And now, for those in the world, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. It's in the UFC heavyweight division. Call weighing in at 246 pounds, fighting at a contender in the world, Alexander, out of the red corner, a mixed martial artist holding professional record, 23 wins, weighing in at 249 pounds, fighting at a Los Angeles re rank UFC heavyweight contender in the world. If you want to touch gloves, do it now. Let's do this. There is the former champion, and there is the. Here it comes. <laughs> Call on the Travis Brown sidekick. Look at. Successful with that first takedown attempt. It's like when they're lying down, Dan. Open up the guard. A very uncomfortable technique. The time when Badum comes out, he's a little bit playful. He allows the fight to breathe a little bit. Take down. Well, Volkov is a self-confessed slow starter, and the when Badum was fighting Travis, so he's probably seen that jumping psychic a few times. Oh, there. Yeah, Throwing some big shots down. No messing around here. Badum, a black belt in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, proud to tell you how much he's won in terms of his grappling. You've got that that grappling pedigree of Fabrizio Verdum. You're, you're comfortable at putting yourself as his world here. And although Volkov is a, 
a great grappler as well. He's got happy in those kickboxing ranges as well. That last fight against Tibura, the heavyweight fight. Quite incredible, really. Verdum does. Pull your hand over. It's quite incredible to see a fighter that's been contending for the title, that's still driven to compete at this top level and to put himself in the gym. The tripod sweep, boy, he uses it to get nice. back. Nicely done there by Volkov. Look at this. Volkov's coming on strong. To get him to overcommit so he can look for another takedown. Canvas. But Volkov bails. Very creative is Verdun. One thing that we have seen him as if he's taken a shot and yes. falls to the floor to try and get people to chase after him. Look how much longer the body is. I was just it's looking at that. Because, wow. Quite crazy. Top. Oh. Top. Why did you stop? Why did you stop? Let's put him against the cage. Let's do what we do. Single leg. Volkov did a good job of maintaining his balance, but Vadum was able to strip the pace away. Barrage of punches in which one of those uppercuts got through and caused some swelling. The unauthorized reproduction or distribution of this copyright work is in round number two. A possible five from here in the open. Volkov found himself on his back for a long period of champion. A really broad uh, selection of strikes that they can throw at you. A lot of experience. I wonder if Badoom's going to try and bait him to push forward with some strikes. But that's a mistake by Volkov. Look at that good takedown defense there from Volkov. Do you think this is a, a really good shrewd tactic by Verdun to talk to? Chip that uh, Verdun's got. It reminds Volkov that he's the younger man in there. He's the finding his confidence here. He's, he's been able to defend a couple of takedowns now, which means that now he knows Verdun's an excellent striker. But with the added advantage of being six foot seven, and the, the former champion, and thinks that he's the number two ranked as well. So massive opportunity for Volkov part of me number three and he wants to be ready to defend it he's also got his mouth open and I think that some of those grappling but dooming on a single leg again drives through beautiful work circles to the top in this contest good work to reach his punches over to try and find the head And when so you have Volkov so far work, away, please. it's almost encouraging you to lean forward. Off their back would be able to isolate one of those arms and kick their hips out and start to attack. What he can do is he can work that can opener, he can continue to apply pressure, and he can land. Position, correct? Yes, I mean, if you're Badoom in this circumstance and you know you've got this, break the guard open and get past it in some way. Now, even in this position, he can threaten ankle dominant position. Looking to isolate a Kimura. Oh, very left keeping that grip Stop. that's the end of Volkov there Got a bit of decoration that's on his head first take his go down his elbow from the top as well there right up in the hairline which is not necessarily a fight ending Volkov as Verdun launches himself like a rocket. But it, it, it must must be strange for some people viewing that have never stepped in there and fought themselves, but to come facing you and then you've just got to put it on them. So even though there's a lot of laughing and some games going damage under Verdun's eye. Verdun's beautiful right. sweep look oh, at Volkov. Really impressed with the uh, uh, with Volkov feeding from the eye yeah, of Verdun really from the cheekbone. Unfortunately it happens to be a but it's Verdun asking him to move down to Verdun. He's been successful 50% of the time. Typically, he has a 20. He's holding the hand. He's holding the hand. Listen, stand up. Listen to me. Wrist on the hand. Let's go. Fight. That's the Mark Gordon take out. Rodriguez, Frankie Edgar fight. Yes. Where the swelling caused the fight to be ended at the end of the Rodriguez. Now, 
a, a veteran like Badu must know that there's a risk of this fight. So recognise that he has only got one eye looking back at him and he will be targeting. Nice body kick there. Completely different strategy this time from Badu, isn't it, Dan? From, I mean, we called that fight. Chase the takedown and the submission more than he more than he, he does because what we want him to be the foundation that keeps people afraid of him on the floor. Look at the, again. Beautiful words. Look at that. Work. That's some high level. He's guard, but Volkov's not going to play that game, surely. The only the only time that Walt Harris, where he had no time to really game plan, he did that super quick. He had the technical advantage in that fight and decided to exploit it. But what we're seeing from Volkov here is division. And you've got to think heavyweights around the world that are watching, that are ranked in the top. Here comes Volkov marching forward. A martial artist since he was just nine. <laughs> now the pace has slowed here. I really so feel. Let's see what the uh, cutman does with. Brady, Brady, you got two more rounds. Nós perdemos esse round. We lost Você this round. Muito pra cima. You, let him, you let him. You let him. Let's train. You've got good legs. Work your jab. The jab and then follows up with a nice combination. But Vadoom was really.